What's up, everybody? And some huge news. Huge news. Facebook in big trouble. And the story in of itself is not what the huge news. It's the precedence. Finally, finally we are seeing something done because there's no competition for Facebook, YouTube. There's no competition. Maybe this can snowball into something bigger that can actually make a difference for you because it's you that I care about. Because if we're all better off, then we're all better off together, which makes everybody's lives easier. Everybody li everybody's lives better and more fulfilling. So what's up, everybody? I am Cyclops with Paramount Cyclops. Welcome. I hope today I can earn your subscription, earn a like, a comment, a share. That would be wonderful. Let's get into this from the Daily Mail. Yes, finally, something is being done. Doomsday for Facebook. Mm, not doomsday. This is not doomsday for Facebook. But this is going to drastically change the landscape and it will hopefully set a precedence so that way other things can be done with some of these other big conglomerate companies. YouTube, Google, Facebook, all these huge corporations that can decide our speech for us. This hopefully will bring competition if they have competition, then they will have to do things to bring people to them or keep their uh, customers. Us. Us. And we're more than just the customers. We're also the product because, let's face it, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they all sell us as well. So we should have a say in it. And we should have competition. And we should be able to decide where to go. And if we have uh, competition and we can decide where to go, then these corporations have to be better in order to keep us. See how that works? It makes it better all the way around to have competition. FTC and 46 states launch massive lawsuit against social media group for predatory and monopolistic behavior that could force it to sell Instagram and WhatsApp and more things as well. Facebook could be forced to sell off Instagram and WhatsApp under a massive lawsuit backed by 46 U.S. states, which accuses the social media giant of running an illegal monopoly. Eh, accuses it? I mean, good lord, it's almost plain as day that they are. I mean, I, I don't even know how you can get around it. Yes, anybody that popped up with competition, they used their massive amounts of money to squelch competition. They would deny anybody from advertising anything that went against their platform. Facebook could be forced to sell on a little, sorry. The two claims filed on Wednesday, one spearheaded by New York Attorney General Latita James and the other by federal regulators, accuse Facebook of illegally acquiring its competitors in a predatory manner in order to dominate the market. Yes. I hope that this case in of itself is successful because this case could set precedence in the future for more cases to break up some of these big tech companies and allow some of these littler companies to get some traction to make competition. Competition is good. makes everybody better. It's a good thing for you. It's a good thing for me. It's a good thing for all of us. For nearly a decade, Facebook has used its dominance and monopoly power to crush small rivals, snuff out competition, all at the expense of everyday users, said James. Facebook targets competitors with a buy or bury approach. If they refuse to be bought out, Facebook tries to squeeze every bit of oxygen out of the room for these companies, the office said. Yes. Yes. Uh, finally, something is being done. The coalition of 46 states, Washington, D.C., and Guam has called on judges to rule that Facebook's acquisition of WhatsApp and Instagram were illegal. The Federal Trade Commission filed its own lawsuit accusing Facebook of squelching the threat from WhatsApp and Instagram, an attitude reflected in a 2008 email by Zuckerberg, which said, It's better to buy than compete. Mm -hmm. Imagine Walmart. If the only place you could go was Walmart, which, interestingly enough, with everything going on, it kind of ends up that way anyways, doesn't it? The Walmart near me, for instance. There was a Smith's. It's been there forever. For some reason, 
to close the Smiths because, well, that wasn't Covey okay. But literally, the Walmart next door is Covey okay. And the line to get in to that said Walmart is absurd. It wraps around to the Smiths, doubles back on itself back to the entrance, and then doubles back halfway again. And that was just at the point I saw it. I'm sure it got a lot longer. Now imagine if the only place you had to go was Walmart. Well, good Lord, if the only place you could go was Walmart, they could charge whatever they want for whatever they want. You'd be paying anything because you don't have a choice. And Walmart could have any policy because where else are you going to go? You have to deal with it. You have to put up with it. Facebook, YouTube, you have to put up with the censorship. You don't have a choice. Yes, there are other platforms out there, but they don't get the traction because YouTube, Facebook, all the big conglomerate, huge tech companies don't want it. And I get it. You have a business. You want your business to be on top. I know. But it's not all about business. It's about the people of the United States. That's why we have monopoly laws. And I'm glad something is going on, Zuckerberg. Good. The action by both Democratic and Republican officials highlights the growing political consensus to hold big tech companies accountable. And comes weeks after the Department of Justice launched a suit against Google, which had accused the $1 trillion firm of using its market power to fend off rivals. It's not even a question. Yes, of course they did. Absolutely, they did. How do you defend that in court? Yeah, they did it. <laughs> Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg and Twitter chief Jack Dorsey were both hauled in for a highly politicized Senate hearing last month. And Donald Trump has feuded with both firms over alleged bias and the fact-checking of his posts. And I agree, they are extremely nitpicky. If you compare... Uh, the way that they report the news on Trump versus Biden and compare them side by side, it's like, wow, it's okay. I mean, they are very nitpicky, very critical of one side and hardly critical at all of the other side. I mean, it speaks volumes, the way that they report. The federal lawsuit comes just weeks before Trump leaves office to re be replaced by Joe Biden who was less combative about big tech during the campaign. Hmm. And I wonder if that possibly, maybe, could have had anything to do with the way big tech companies reported and censored? You think? Is it possible? In a statement to Daily Mail, Facebook's general, counselor, count, general counsel, Jennifer Newstead, blasted the litigation, calling it Revisionist history. Revisionist history. How? Everything's known. Everything's email. It's not revisionist history. You said it yourself, so what? Antitrust laws exist to protect consumers and promote innovation. Yes. Not to punish a successful business, but when that successful business uses its success to squelch other smaller businesses, then yes, it does. Instagram and WhatsApp became the incredible products they are today because of Facebook because Facebook invested billions of dollars and years of innovation and expertise to develop new features and better experiences for the millions who enjoy those products. But they were under the realm of your censorship. It wasn't com competition. You didn't allow it to be any kind of competition. The 123-page lawsuit filed by 46 U.S. states describes Facebook's alleged efforts to buy or bury the competition to maintain its social media monopoly. Of course. Of course. Here's some of the allegations. The early years, Facebook hones its tactics to avoid competition. Yeah, of course it did. I remember when Facebook and MySpace were out, and MySpace made some really Dumb decisions. Uh, and that's what led to Facebook taking over. In the beginning, it was all about MySpace. I actually liked MySpace. You could customize your page, the colors, the music. People could get to your page and it would play whatever music you wanted to play on it. It was, it was pretty cool. Facebook enjoyed meteoric early growth by outcompeting other websites such as My MySpace. 
but Zuckerberg and his colleagues had already honed some tactics to extinguish or impede their rivals, the lawsuit claims. In 2009, Facebook made an aggressive overture to FriendFeed, an aggregator which pulled together content from various social media sites. Fearing that Twitter was about to acquire the company, Facebook bought it out. <laughs> They're quick. There's someone that's going to be competition. Buy it. Bam. Now it's ours. No, you can't grow because you can't acquire it. And there it begins. The legality of it? Well, once they get to the point, there's nothing wrong with seeing competition and buying it out, but once you get to the point where you are actively squelching new competition from coming out, then you're a monopoly. We have antitrust laws for that very reason, to protect us, the consumers. And they should recognize us as a product as well. Because if you don't believe that you are the main product, why do you think Facebook's free? You're the product. Ads aren't being sold to you. You are being sold to ads. It's the opposite way of what you're thinking. Why do you think you can look up for work? Personal experience. An ice machine looking for stats and I look up a specific ice machine and then next thing you know you go to YouTube and under the bar are advertisements for that very ice machine you're the product you're the one being sold the ads aren't there to sell a product you've already been sold to that product based upon your own search history based upon your own purchase history it's scary when you get down to how much they know about you but it makes sense. If you're a company and you produce a product, you need to know everything about your product, how it's made, the insides, the outsides of it. And that's how we know that you're the product. They know more about you than you do because they can actively predict what you're going to do. Hmm. But that's a video in of itself. Let's see. In 2010, Facebook bought a Malaysian company called Octazen, which provided contact details for potential users. Facebook was already licensing the company's services, but when it turned out Twitter was doing the same, attention turned to how Facebook could deprive rivals and potential rivals of this important resource. They bought it up. They bought it. Again, let's do the Walmart example. Let's say there's a glass that a company produces and lots of people are selling it and Walmart says well everybody really likes this glass so we're going to not buy just the glass producer we're going to buy every single uh, manufacturer that makes glass to begin with then you don't have a choice but to buy from Walmart there's, there's no way because people don't have access to that resource if you can't get the glass itself, then no one can make the glass, thereby giving Walmart full control over every single glass product in the world because nobody has access to the resource. Make sense? A Facebook executive said that in an acquisition, said that an acquisition could be interesting if for a few million we could slow some competitors down for a quarter or so. One Facebook once Facebook bought the firm, it terminated all third-party access to Octazen. Dirty, underhanded tactics. The wrath of Mark Zuckerberg buys out really scary Instagram. The lawsuit says that Facebook increasingly took anti-competitive steps to maintain its monopoly from about 2012 after it had seen off the short-lived threat from Google+. Yeah. Google Plus didn't last long at all, did it? Because it didn't have resources that it needed to grow. It didn't have the networking resources because they all belong to Facebook. The lawsuit says that Facebook increasingly took in... Oh, blah, blah, sorry. By this time, Facebook bosses were becoming frightened at how other firms were moving ahead in the mobile world. It is claimed Zuckerberg said it was really scary that Facebook was very behind Instagram telling colleagues they might want to consider paying a lot of money for it. Mm. 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 Imagine having all the money in the world, enough money that you can literally change 
the landscape to your benefit. And the more you change the landscape to your benefit, the more money you have, which means the more you can change the landscape to your benefit, which means the more money you have, and wash, rinse, and repeat until you get this big, huge conglomerate company that even when faced down by the United States government itself can thumb its nose at the government because, well, they just have too much money and too much power and too much influence. It's crazy. Anyways, this video is getting long and I have got to go to work and I have been up since early this morning recording videos for you. I hope that I have informed you in some way, shape, or form or I have at least opened your eyes and said, hey, maybe this is something you want to look into. I definitely encourage you to do your own research into it. I always do, and I always I always have, and I always will. Huh, there we go. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever it is. I love you guys. You're beautiful. I'll see you on the next one.